Hi guys, uh, I've got another job today in my meadow and I have this bed behind me and it has got Shalasta daisies in it. Now Shalasta daisy is um, a really tall white daisy with a yellow centre and it's really tall, it comes up to about halfway up my thighs. So the bed has lain dormant over winter and you can see the spring nettles are trying to take a hold so I need to weed those out. Now the plants are still dormant um, but you can see they're only just starting to come up now and I'm actually going to lift every single one of them out of this bed. The daisies haven't proven popular in bouquets. They're okay, they're not that great so I thought I'd lift them out and divide them and actually put them into my formal garden as part of the cottage garden styling. So this is all weeded now. Uh, I would say clear, but it's not clear because there's a billion chickens in there. Uh, I'm going to get a fork and dig up, you can see like there, there's one of the shenastas, there's another one here, there's two down here, I need a bit more weeding down here, but the chickens are right in the way, and get those up. So I've actually got a really nice big clump here, um, <laughs> and the weather has been so wet recently that I think I can actually just tear this clump apart, I don't even need to get forks in there to split it up because it is just so moist I would shave but the chickens are in the way so literally just tear it up like this and probably just tear chunk clumps off and then just go plant them into my borders but I've actually got quite a few there so there's a nice big clump there there's another one here but it needs a bit more digging out now I'll try and get some of this up, but there are fluffy butts in the way, so let's get this bit up as well. Let's dig that out. We're all waiting for the worms to come. It's actually got fairly shallow roots there, but there's some nettle root in there, it's that yellow root. So this here was anchoring it down. And that yellow root is part of the nettles. They're picking the worms out. So here, I can literally just pull that off and there's a plant there. So I had one plant and I could probably divide that up into many and just create a drift around the formal garden with those. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. And thank you to all of you who have replied and told me that what you're doing this weekend, growing flowers and sowing seeds, it sounds inspirational. And I love the sound of all your gardens. So please keep going, keep letting me know how you're doing and we will do some more garden adventures soon. Bye.